okay dear students let us see what is there in this question which is the definition of gravitational field strength at a point and they are specifically talking about the definition now uh, a is the sum of the gravitational fields created by all masses around the point no this is wrong answer let us first of all understand what is gravitational field strength and then we will see the options okay now there are three things that we need to consider in this question the first thing is the formula for the gravitational force and what is that f is given by g into m into m divided by r square where m is the mass of the planet or you can say one body and r is the distance between two bodies and small m is the mass of another body which can be an astronomical body which can be any other body whatever okay these are two bodies attracting each other so this is the gravitational force now there is something called gravitational field strength at a point so what does it mean now this means that we want to find we want to see like how the gravitational field will be there we want to visualize a field what are the places where the gravitational field is necessarily very high and where are the points where the gravitational field is lesser and for that sake what we define is gravitational field strength or you can call it gravitational field intensity so do not get confused in the words some books say the gravitational field strength some say gravitational field intensity and both of them are defined as the gravitational force per unit mass and there is a limit on it that mass is very small limit the students those who are those who have chosen mathematics they know what limit is and the students those who do not have maths i believe you people have maths everybody okay anyways so you might be knowing what is this it means that this mass have to be diminishing only then this definition suits the definition of gravitational field intensity okay so now let us go for b option i know it that is why i'm telling you the gravitational force per unit mass you see experienced by a small point mass at that point so this is a location specific phenomena number one number two the point mass should be very small so this mass m is tending to zero and this and the definition is the gravitational force per unit mass so you need to divide it by mass m i think this will be very clear to you now and let us move further let us substitute the value of f here and you would be getting this so it will come out to be gm by r square now you can see that this formula is used for something else also and what is that that is acceleration due to gravity so this is the third thing that i wanted to tell you in this question now acceleration due to gravity is again defined as the gravitational force per unit mass and for that particularly you have the same formula that is uh, or i can say this will be equal to weight divided by mass so which will after substituting the proper values you will get the same formula now this is where students get confused like what the hell now because acceleration due to gravity is having the same formula intensity is also having the same formula and what are these two things this is like it it tries to define the gravitational field around a mass and the unit for this will be uh newton per kg newton per kg and the unit for this is meter per second square this is acceleration which a body will be experiencing if it is falling under the influence of gravity and i is the intensity which is the characteristic of the gravitational field these two are completely different physical quantities but yes they have the same formula and yes they have the same values so on the earth's surface acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 so the intensity of the gravitational field is also 9.8 the only difference is you can say the units but in many books also even the units are taken same but i believe these these are the correct units which define them properly so this is acceleration due to gravity and this is force per unit mass a characteristic of the gravitational field so my dear students this is professor varun please subscribe to the youtube channel and also share the youtube channel with all your friends all the best bye